If you like this video please click on the like button. Comment with the names of the movies you would like us to cover next. Click the subscribe button and press the bell icon to get notified of our latest creations. We cover 100 movies from around the world every day. To advertise with our channel reach out to us. Our contact information is on our channel page. Now, let's move to the plot of this movie. In mid-1940s Australia, a nameless nine-year-old Aboriginal orphan boy is captured by police and taken in at a remote monastery for Indigenous boys. The monastery is seemingly run by a male priest who has, in actuality, been dead for a year without anyone knowing the cause. The lead nun, Sister Eileen, claims to outsiders that the priest is still alive and forges letters to create this impression. Eileen is supported in her work and her deception by two indigenous individuals. A fellow nun who goes by the nickname, Sister Mum, and a male named George. Though times are difficult, the nuns care for the boys and desire to protect them through Christian teachings and shared manual work. The other boys are not provided any knowledge of indigenous values language or practices. Their ultimate fate is to be forced to leave very early and be employed as farm hands. The new boy initially struggles to fit in with the other partners. Being incapable of speaking or understanding English and lacking any desires for Western customs, such as footwear and clothing. After a period of bullying, the new boy gradually asserts himself physically and emotionally and becomes accepted by everyone. Throughout this process, the new boy is shown to possess mysterious supernatural abilities to conjure small balls of light, and to heal sick animals and humans. This period of relative peace is broken by the arrival of a large statue of a crucified Jesus. The new boy finds himself drawn to the statue, seeing visions of it blinking at him. He feels compelled to deliver offerings of live snakes to the Jesus statue and in the process starts to experience stigmata, with his other supernatural powers becoming confused. Some people are uncomfortable with these events. George, already wary when the new boy speaks indigenous language, starts to ostracize him from others, creating further confusion. Eileen experiences a crisis of faith upon seeing the new boy heal another comrade and begins to drink heavily. In time, she comes to believe that the new boy has been sent to her as a messenger from Christ and decides to baptize the new boy. Incapable of fully understanding Christianity, the new boy accepts the baptism and immediately realizes that this has now permanently destroyed his supernatural abilities. Resigned to his life, the new boy begins wearing clothing and footwear. As V-Day arrives, he tentatively starts living a new life, experiencing acceptance, but leaving his future uncertain and his heritage now torn between two vastly different worlds.